I'm getting sick and tired of seeing the exact same feminist video over and over again. The typical feminist video that includes the typical wage gap or one five myth, the dictionary, um, dictionary definition argument. It's been done before. And making a video response to them is completely pointless and just redundant. But every now and then you come across a feminist video that just seems to be trying to take it to the next level in stupidity. And boy oh boy do I have a treat for you guys. I'm surprised Barry hasn't made a video response to her. But hey, maybe he's being nice. Let me have the fun first, then Barry can have his fun. Maybe WarCorp666 can join in too. Hmm. You know, this is, you know, this is the best part about this video. I don't have to insult you. You practically insult yourself. Why, all I gotta do is just add a sound effect like this. <laughs> An introduction that's just plain stupid. Like, wow. There's some bad intros, and then there's your intro. Completely fucking pointless. And this is the reason why I'm making a video response to you. Because you're making such stupid statements like this, even by feminist standards. I have never heard anyone asking, oh my god, am I going to lose my penis if I do this? That's incredibly fucking insulting to human nature. Jesus fucking Christ, woman. But just Latage, will being a feminist make my dick disappear? <gasps> no. Allow me to play the world's smallest violin. No, I won't. Hey everybody, it's just Latasha. And I hope you guys have enjoyed my comedy web series entitled Sit, Black, and Relax. I would love to make more. People were asking me for more episodes to do season two. But I can't do it with no money, honey. Get it. It's a comedy for black people. There's already enough of those already. I'm gonna watch Tyler Perry. So if you do so care to see more episodes of Sit Back and Relax, if you guys want to support the work that I'm doing for Black Hollywood, for Black production, for Black Opportunity. Well, he is pretty goddamn funny. Seriously, you should watch his Old Spice commercials. So two years ago, actor Terry Crews wrote this book. Yeah, the big, muscular, dark-skinned black guy that white people genuinely smile around. You don't have to be a feminist in order to be in for equality. It's a thing called egalitarianism. But you feminists really, really hate the idea of someone not being a feminist. Because, well, being a feminist means that you're the ultimate good human being thing. Yeah. Hooray, feminism. And in that book, he claims to be a feminist. Unlike Kim Kardashian, who won't accept the term because she rejects labels and isn't a free-the-nipple type of girl. Well, it wouldn't be a feminist video if it, you didn't mention the wage gap. So, yay, feminism. She's a free-the-ass and free-the-pussy type of girl. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But feminism isn't just about women's public display of sexuality or armpit hair or even earning that equal dollar. Really now. Okay, let's see what you have to say. Feminism releases the confines of masculinity too. Man, you're really making it way too easy for me to insult you. Jesus Christ. This is so unbelievably cringeworthy. From boys to men, and no, I won't make love to you or get down on bended knee. 90s R&B! Of course, your very first argument is going to be the typical 
Oh, men can't show their goddamn emotions because society expects them to be emotionless robots. <sighs> I have never been taught to not show any emotions whatsoever. Men can be happy, men can be angry, men can be sad, men can be scared. I experience these things every fucking day. What you're doing is lying to people. You fucking imbeciles. You're just, you know, giving us permission to feel, to become more emotional. Because you've got to have something for men, right? And that is men being more emotional. Guys were taught to never to show emotion or cry. You just said it made you look like a total fucking dick. See? That's what men have. Dicks. And if they did, they were pussies or little bitches. Ironically, terms that relate to being a woman. What? Your father is dead? Well, boo fucking who? Cry me a fucking river, boo hoo, daddy is dead. Yeah, that's how society acts. Because it's this toxic idea that a man is not a man if he shows any kind of sensitivity or softness. <laughs> being vulnerable, being weak, being a follower, being dependent. He also can't show signs of physical pain. Oh my fucking god. That's incredibly fucking stupid there is literally no words for me to describe on how stupid on what the fuck you're saying you actually believe that men can not only are, are not allowed to show any emotional conflict but also show no fucking physical pain like when he screams, I eat those, when getting punched in the face. Apparently, society expects men to be able to survive a gunshot wound to the fucking head. That is your fucking logic. That's... Again, this is incredibly fucking stupid. Even if there was some realm of reality that men are not allowed to show any emotional, um, emotional conflict, you expect me to believe that I am not allowed to show any physical pain. Do you really expect me to believe in that shit? <sighs> Let me explain something. Okay, I had to work three days straight at Panorama with, with clean vibes. Imagine eight hours of standing and walking. Yeah, sure, you get to sit down every now and then, but my feet were killing me. Everyone's feet was fucking tired. By the time I got home, my feet felt like they were about to rip off from my legs. And yet I kept on going. My boss, who happens to be female, took pity on me. And normally a boss's job is to not take pity on their employers. Or is it, no, employees, their fellow um, co-workers. And the thing is, is that she took pity on me. She understood that I am suffering from foot pain because we have to walk eight hours walking back and forth, back and forth, cleaning up stuff. Can you imagine that? You, my dear, will not be able to last for another four hours. You'd be whining and complaining about the pain in your fucking feet. 
Me? I didn't whine, I didn't complain. I did my fucking job. And I got paid. Not as much as, say, what I would gain as a garbage cleaner, but still. I got paid, I did my job well, and I was recommended for another job. And you're gonna sit down and tell me that I am not allowed to show any physical pain whatsoever. Go fuck yourself. No one here is Rambo. That shit fucking hurts. Oh Lord, and oh Lord, and please give me the strength to not dick slap this girl. Oh my Lord. I got some really bad news for you all. All of you are not hunters or pack leaders. Your dick is not a compass and we've been going in circles for hours. Just ask for direction. Is that what else you believe in? That men are forced to sexually harass women because there's some guy just holding a gun to his head. You, you better, you better harass that girl. You're not a real man. What's fucking hell? What a crazy ass conspiracy are you going to make up? And it doesn't stop it being vulnerable. It questions your toughness too. Men's sexuality are put up on the chopping block when they don't sexually harass a woman. This is the part where I'm supposed to feel pity, right? I don't. I don't care. Honestly, I just do not care. Remember when Drake was corny because he actually cared about women in his raps while sipping on a wine spritzer? <laughs> that threw niggas for a loop. There are many things that have made me uncomfortable in my life and seeing a man forcibly try to sexually harass me is one of them. Hey, you're a hoe, you're a bitch, you're a slut, you're a dumbass, you're unbelievably stupid. I'm saying this with the bottom of my fucking heart. That you are incredibly Naive. Like, if you're gonna call me a hoe, say it with your chest. Have some conviction. I didn't know that was a thing. Reverse bullying. So now, when I curse you out, I don't have to feel like it's reverse bullying. Because society expects men to be ultra brolic for no apparent reason. You're just coming up with new things to say aren't you? Like, you know that if you were to just regurgitate everything Lacey Green said, then you wouldn't be anything unique. So you have to come up with some new bullshit in order to get some form of attention. You'll believe anything these days, don't ya? Like, I was supposed to be the winner here! Or when men feel lesser for not having big, broad shoulders to cast shade over the feeble female, or the abs to provide the strength for shoulder hoisting on the way to genital thrashing. Because that's what sex is, when genitals do this, this thing. Now this is just sad. I feel like I'm picking on a mental retard. Not that it's going to stop me anyway. Terry Cruz states that men remain silent for a few reasons. Men see themselves as more valuable. We see ourselves as more valuable. Go on. This includes rape culture. Not caring when women get raped or feeling forced to feel like rape against men is a victory. Not live in a goddamn rape culture. As much as we do not live in a goddamn murder culture. We do not glorify murder. We do not glorify theft. And we will definitely do not glorify rape. Or the sexual harassment of women, or feeling like women's issues just aren't their problem. In America, you shouldn't be complaining. In any degree of the form, women are subsequent, subservient, and sexual. Their physical presence precedes their intellectual existence. The only people that would actually believe in that are those who live in third world countries. You know the type of countries I'm talking about, full of Islamics and shit. Terry also states that men fear being controlled, or fearing that women will have more power. Why MGTOW exists. Guys, we bleed up to six days and don't die. We are more powerful. Not an incredible feat. 
Seriously, anyone could bleed up to six days and not die. Depends on the wounds. So, yeah, you're not more powerful just because you can bleed. If anything, it makes you weaker. For Summer 16, I propose new rules for what makes a man a man. You're going to define on how a man should act. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm all game. Explain. Standing up for who you are and being you wholeheartedly all the time. I already did. I do it every day. Right now I'm doing it to you. Standing up for women who are victims of misogyny. You just stated that men, women are more powerful than men. And yet they need to be protected by men. Hmm. Yeah, that's what we call a double standard. Being so comfortable in your masculinity and what that specifically means for you that you aren't threatened by women wanting more power. In a society where men and women are already equal, the fact that women want more power makes men feel a bit afraid. Yeah, you don't really want more rights to be equal. You want more rights to have more rights. And crying. Have you ever heard a song? A poem? Or saw a piece of art that just moved your soul? Have you ever listened to Kenny Lattimore or Brian McKnight sing to you? I'm a person who laughs during people's funerals. I won't be moved by some music or art. Yeah. I'm really a cold-hearted son of a bitch. You might as well picture me eating babies. Have that eyes never seen. Mufasa slipped from that cliff straight on into a stampede, leaving behind a small cub. Lion King, one of my favorite old-time movies when I was little. And boy, that scene, I didn't really shed any tears. I mean, if I watch it today, I wouldn't be crying. I, I would be like, <laughs> I'd be laughing. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Tell me I'm a horrible person for laughing over a fictional character's death. <laughs> uh, uh. Have you ever seen white people do the nae nae? I got nothing. These are the new rules. To make new men, to make a new you. No, I'm not gonna change. Especially what you define on what's a real man defending women of victims of, of misogyny. We can defend themselves. Fucking hell. But then again, that's just me. I'm, I'm a bit of an asshole. I laugh during people's funerals. Yeah, I'm a very terrible human being. I'll see you guys next time with a new video. It's finally over. The pain's over. Well, I guess there's nothing else to say. I do hope that somebody else, someone with more subscribers than myself, someone who has more viewers than myself, actually make a video response to you. Till then, I am the Atheist Gamer, keep gaming on. <laughs>